Hello and welcome to a more opinion-based video on this channel and today we're going to talk about magic finding in Diablo 2. Whether you're a wet hit by a nostalgia truck and want to experience the gambler's high as you used to like in the old days of Battle.net or like me have recently discovered this game and want to do something more with your hell conquering characters find those juicy uniques and maybe even start on your own holy grail, this video is aimed to help you get started on the long and grindy but yet fun magic finding journey. Now three things to note here is 1. Everything in this video is my opinion, 2. I'm not a very smart man and 3. You are the internet which means that overall you will disagree with some if not a lot of the things that I'm about to say and that's okay. One thing I think that we can all agree on right away is that the best character to do this with is a blizzard sorceress if you are starting out. Now if you want to know how to beat hell with such a character, I'll leave a card link to a video where you can see a blizzard sorceress being created fresh as a level 1 character and taken all the way to hell by a very reputable source. Uh, me. Everything that I said in that video I still agree with, so that's great. What I don't agree with is what I did with that character afterwards. That was I geared up and went to do 1000 Mephisto runs. Now in theory that sounds good since Mephisto is notorious for dropping some nice mid to high level stuff but one of the major plagues of farming in Diablo 2 or any other game for that matter is that it could get a little mind numbing while doing the same thing over and over and over again after a while. Since I have grown as a player and I have devised a better magic finding route which I will share with you right now. So we'll use my other sorceress as a guinea pig for this and she literally has only finished hell and done nothing afterwards so her gear and levels would be a good estimate to where your characters would be after your first hell journey. Except for the heart of the oak, yeah I guess that was just a lucky find that I had on her, I just happened to find a vex rune in Nightmare Throne. So anyways. After you're done beating hell with your sorceress, the first thing I would do is to respec to pure blizzard. I currently am using the pluggy mod which allows for infinite respecs and I will leave a card link for instructions on how to install it, but if you don't want to use it for some reason and want to use a different muling system, by all means go for it and you can use Akara or the tokens for your respec. Now after the fresh blizzard respec, the first thing we will do is get a good map roll and for that we will have to go to Act 3 and check out Lower Kurist. This in my opinion is going to be the most important place for you starting out so you want to get a good map for here. Now a good map for Lower Kurist contains two of these. This campfire right here also has two huts perpendicularly coming out and they have a total of three super chests which can all drop runes up to a burr rune. Unfortunately on this map I only have one of these campfires so I would recommend resetting this map by saving and exiting, going back to nightmare, saving and exiting again out of there and then coming back to hell. Now you can try again. Once you get a nice map roll such as this one that I have right here, that is you have two campfire spots, preferably close to each other and preferably close to the waypoint as well, we are ready to move on to the actual runs. Now we are going to start with a Mephisto run. Now the map for Durance level 2 can be a bit trolly but with a sorceress you always have teleport so I wouldn't be so strict about this as LK. As you can see I got a really nice one here but unless you roll with one which has like an end to end waypoint and exit ratio or something like that, I suggest you stick with it and do a Mephisto run. 
Now while running Mephisto, you can either do the cheese kill by standing on the other side of the platform or just get in his face and do the job there. I personally have done this a thousand times, quite literally, so I feel confident just doing that and the great thing about Mephisto is that he will almost always drop a nice unique or rare after dying like this Reaper's Toll right here. Shame it wasn't ethereal since I am kind of looking for one of those but still a great find for starting out. After doing Mephisto, we'll shift our focus to the Lost City in Act 2 and go and find the Ancient Tunnels. Again, I would not be too picky with the map here since even if the entrance is a little ways out, you can always teleport to it pretty quickly since the city map is not that large in the first place. Inside the tunnel though, things can be scary. These monsters in here have pretty high monster levels so they give good experience and they also have extremely high treasure class which is why they give really good items. As a bonus, finding a cold immune monster in here is very rare since they can only occur on boss packs that have high cold resistance and on top of that are also cold enchanted. This area is where you're going to get the most drop your jaw to the floor moments because you suddenly one day drop a unique diadem or something since this place allows for that stuff to happen. It won't happen often, but when it will, it will be a special thing. And finally, we're going to cap this off by doing a round of LK. Now, you want to do LK runs on players 7 and if you're on single player, that is achieved by pressing enter to bring up the message box and typing in slash players 7 command to set the players on 7. That can be slow though, even if you type pretty fast that could take like 3-5 to five seconds which does add up over time, I mean over 1000 runs we're talking about 3000 to 5000 seconds? That would almost be equivalent to an hour lost over 1000 runs if you just keep doing that. Therefore you can use this pretty nifty trick right here. Press enter to bring up the message box again and this time only type in dash players and then press enter. This will set the players to 1. Bear with me here and press enter again and press the up arrow key which will bring in the previously entered text and press enter again. Now repeat this process like 10 or 11 times and you will pretty much send the message into what I like to call the message overflow. What I mean by that is now if you save and quit and come back into another game and you press enter and then the up arrow key again, you will have the dash players command at your beckoning at any time and you can just enter the number 7 and then go do a lower chorus run. And finally, the lore Kuras run. I would recommend getting a couple of keys for this place because this, this is where I believe your dreams will be made. Where you will probably drop your first and your best high runes for a while. However, there is one more cool aspect about LK that people miss out for beginners and that is flawless gems. More specifically, flawless topazes. Now when you would have cleared hell, I would doubt that your gear will have a lot of magic find. As you can see, mine only has 11% right now and that's totally natural. While clearing hell there are other things like damage and your resistances that you're mostly going to be preoccupied with so not collecting MF gear along the way is pretty normal and LK gives you a chance to correct that. With flawless topazes that you will find, you will also get some armor bases with 4 sockets from these armor stands and for the moment you can just stick 4 perfect topazes into one of these for a massive increase in magic find. I know it's not the most elegant way of getting it, what it is it's rather cheap but extremely effective. 
The extra 100 or so magic find may allow Mephisto to drop you a cool item like Skulder's Isle which will increase your character vastly more. If you're extra lucky and the ancient tunnels are extra kind, you may even get a unique dimensional shard for all your troubles of wearing that armor and finally, the chest in LK might even give you a burr rune. Okay, that's not really true. Magic find does not change LK drops at all. So don't take that seriously. That was just, I used that for a segue. What it has led us to is a good comparison that the three areas that you magic find will provide you. Mephisto with cool, mostly common but consistent drops. Ancient tunnels with the once in a month maybe but out of this world drops and LK with a little sprinkle of magic to cap it off because high runes in my opinion are the most valuable things you can get starting out as a magic finder which will allow you to improve your current and pretty much all your other characters as well. Anyways with that we can finish off the run by going to the waypoint and going back to act 4 so that we don't have to run through act 3 docks when we save and reset. After that, just hit enter, the up arrow key, and enter again, and you're back on players 1, ready to do it all over again with the Mephisto run. That personally would be the route I would take if I was to start magic finding Diablo 2 today. Getting a good blend of playstyles and locations in to not get bogged down by the same old, same old, and also just improving the variety of the drops that you can get from the three areas overall. Now by all means you can add more things to this routine if you want. You can add Pindleskin to this as well, he's a really great target. The only reason I did not put him in is because he does tend to be cold immune more often than something like the ancient tunnel bosses and therefore you will need a strong mercenary at least starting out to kill him or you'll just have to skip him. And in that way, if you do get a strong mercenary, you can start adding things like Chaos Sanctuary and Bale Runs and whatever floats your boat. These three are just my personal recommendations based on the experience that I've got from playing this game. Whatever you do, I wish you good luck on your MF journeys and I hope you found this content riveting. Yours truly, with love.